What is going on YouTube? It's Rob aka Big Bear and welcome to my second video of 2022. So you want to start streaming. I've been doing this for a while now and I've picked up some tips and tricks that uh, I'd like to thank a bunch of people from gaming careers to Nutty to Michael Freya Jr. They've really helped me with solidifying how I like my stream to look, how to keep it simple or how to go as balls to the wall as you want so if you want to check those guys out i highly recommend it but here i'm going to show you the very basics you need to get started with streaming in 2022 now most people think you need a camera a pc everything to get going but realistically you don't if you have a console and a decent microphone on a headset i recommend you start but if you've already got a pc and you've got some cash and you're ready to spend it might I recommend these here. For a camera, I use a Logitech C920. It's a pretty staple entry level camera, which is what you're looking at me right now on. It shoots in 1080p at 30 FPS. You can mess with the color grading as much as you want. I do have a ring light over here, which you don't necessarily need. That can be quite expensive to get. I recommend though getting a nice warm, or white light even just a, a lamp would be fine in terms of a microphone if you can get yourself an xlr mic like what i have here you can see it's the rode pod mic i run this into a scarlet solo you can do something similar to that now that is an expensive option so if you don't have that kind of money lying around might i suggest boom blue yeti snowball it's a very standard usb powered comes with a little tripod and this is what i used when i started streaming you can make this sound like a top dollar microphone if you put the effort into listening to the plugins next what you want to get if you're looking to showcase yourself like i am is a relatively cheap camera now i have already said that i use the c920 which is what you're looking at me on here but you can also get a Microsoft LifeCam HD and this shoots in 720p which is more than enough to showcase yourself on your stream. This cost me about $45 at Officeworks which is roughly about $30 American. You can find these on Amazon for cheap as chips. I think sometimes even on special they go for like $22 to $25 American. So you can see the quality of this camera isn't too bad for considering how inexpensive it is and if I mess with the color grading i could make it look pretty decent okay next what you want to do is go to obsproject.com and you will find yourself coming to this page here and downloads probably the best free streaming software on the market okay so once you find yourself on the home page right here what you got to do is click windows it'll bring you to this and it'll ask you to download it now i already have the folder so i already have obs set up which is what you're checking out right now make sure you save it to a location that is going to be suitable for yourself generally it'll save to the c drive but if you have an extra hard drive and you save it there remember where you've saved it now that you've got that downloaded you want to search up in the obs project.com in the forums for stream effects for obs studio you click the go to download button here which is the white button scroll down and you want to make sure that you click the install at the .exe file here so you're going to download it open it up you're going to come up with this just click the more info and run anyway i'm going to install for all users yes and then you're going to follow these things here so i'm going to install a static version i have portable because it recognizes i have a portable instance of obs this will be the location of where you've installed obs studio and you click install and it'll click install for you all right whilst that is done what you want to go do now is get a couple of things just to make your stream a little bit better so i recommend going over to pexels.com and finding yourself some cool videos for backgrounds so if you want something cool let's say fireworks it's the new year we're gonna do that do we like this one let's have a look that's fantastic so we're gonna go free download here we're gonna download it into this file 
in MP4. That's excellent. And we may as well stick with a fireworks theme. So I'm going to get this one and let's also get this one. Next, what you want to go to is photop.com. Photop is like an online version of Photoshop for free. When you come to Photop, you'll find yourself with this homepage. You just want to click new project. You want to have and make sure that the size is matching up to your canvas resolution, which most people will stream 1920 by 1080. Now you can toggle the background on and off if you want to. For this instance, we're going to leave the background toggled off. And then what we're going to do is come down to this rectangle tool. Now the reason we're doing this is we're going to make a mask for the camera overlay. So say we draw this, we set the corner radius to 50 pixels already. And I did that off screen. And this will just give it that nice round edge, right? So once we've got the shape drawn, what we're going to do is go file, export as PNG. I'm going to call this camera mask. Set this as 1920 by 1080. So let's save. And then I've already got one saved here, which I've done earlier. So you don't have to, I don't have to save again. Okay, what you want to do is find your OBS and double click it. I've already got mine open because I'm streaming. And as you can see, it's showing a lot of stuff right now. So we're going to set up an entirely new scene from the ground up. So I'm going to go into the plus. I'm going to type in, let's say, YouTube stream tutorial. First thing that you're going to have is an empty source which I'm going to bring up to be a display capture and I'm going to have it be my desktop source. Next, what I'm going to do is bring up my webcam by clicking the plus, going to video capture device, and I'm going to select my main camera. What I'm also going to do is create a border for this camera. So I'm going to resize it, say to about that big. I'm going to put it in the middle just for now. And then I'm going to click the plus icon. I'm going to go to media source. And then we're going to type in YouTube tutorial. You can name this whatever you want. Camera. Oh, now I'm going to click loop so I don't forget it. You need the media source to continue to loop. So I'm going to put this one here. Mute this. We do not need that audio. And then I'm going to drag it behind here. I'm going to resize this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control. I have both of these. And then I'm going to go right click group selected items. With this selected, I'm going to go to filters. And if you've installed the stream effects software correctly, click the plus icon and it'll come up here with image mask slash blend. Click OK. Change the alpha mask to alpha channel. Click browse and then select your camera mask. And then bam, we've got a sick webcam ready to go. So I'm going to situate this over the side. Make it a little bit smaller. Excellent. So now we're ready to game. Now let's say, for example, you don't want this. You want to set yourself up something different. So what you're going to do, click the plus icon, go to media source. We're going to name this YouTube tutorial waiting scene. Okay. Browse. Let's click the other video that we found. I'm going to turn it down because we don't need it. We don't need any sound there. Next, we're going to bring back our camera. If you want to resize the, I guess, what you see in the background, you can hold Alt. And then you can also bring in something like a browser source. Now, my chat box is a little bit finicky, so I can line this up with my camera. And then if you want to lock it and make sure it doesn't move, boom, done. From here, you just want to be able to set up your audio. We're going to go to replugs, click on this, and then you're going to want to download the 64 bit, or if you have a 32 bit, you can download that as well. From there, you install the plugins to the folder in which you have your OBS plug uh, installed, which you can do from there. Bring this back, open the cogwheel, advanced audio properties. You're going to Click monitor and output, test, test. As you can see, it's coming through. While you have that on, you're gonna click filters, and then you're gonna click plus, then you can click VS2, and then that'll open up this, which will allow you to select a plugin. From here, you wanna get an EQ, which is built in. So you can click this, you can go down to re-EQ, open the plugin interface, 
and you can mess with it until you like the sound of your voice however you want to do it. next you want to get a gate which i found the gate works best there but that's up to you finally our compressor so you can use a compressor and mess with it however you want to so those are the basic fundamentals of starting streaming in 2022 you're able to get obs sorted and start recording your gameplay by recording the desktop source uh, you've got your microphone set with your plugins and your camera set as well if you need any help with anything further that is more in depth let me know drop a comment if you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial leave a like share it with your friends and check me out on twitch.tv forward slash big bear au the link is in the description i will also link pixels photo p obs stream effects and replugs in the description as well so you guys can have ease of access to download it and i'll even pin a comment for you too but until next time you've been awesome i've been big bear stay golden peace